Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Movie Social. We're your host, Ricky and Steph. What up, what up, what up? Today on Movie Social, we're going to be doing a review of the Netflix series, Firefly Lane. And before we actually get into that review, if you like what we're doing on this channel with these reviews for movies, TV shows, video games, and anime, go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and also share the channel and video with your family and friends. All right. Now, Firefly Lane was interesting from the fact one. Didn't expect the title just to be based off the childhood home. Mm -hmm. But there was some moments where it had a lot of questions left to be answered at the end. A lot. (laughs) Man, don't get me started. But it it, it had a unique take. Of having the uh, three different flashbacks continuously. Mm-hmm. Each time when they flashbacked from present time to back before they flashback either to when they were just starting out in their careers and then would go back to them being as kids in middle school or high school. Mm-hmm. Which is interesting. Because most times you just get a flashback and then that's it. This went two levels down. Yeah. I mean, so yeah, it goes... Two levels back. Different approach. Unique. Yeah, I mean, the thing about it, as you were saying, it does go back. The thing is, there's so much in the current Uh that we don't know. It's sad. Like, we need a season two. Yeah, it's crazy because they jumped two years in the future, then go back to present. I'm like, whoa, time off. Yeah, because we thought at first, right? I swear I thought that. Let, let's just have that discussion right here, right now. When they I, when I they had that, talking. when they said we'll be best friends forever, right? No matter what. And it was two years, uh-huh. and then they talk about how how they is a funeral, how they miss uh, miss her and all that other stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I wish that she was here. I'm like, did wow, die? did she die? Because remember, then they flash back to her. Uh, them finding her on the floor or something like that. Then it goes back to the fem- them going to the fem- yeah. Like, cool, cool, yeah. Whoa, so whoa, you whoa, thought whoa, that whoa, she whoa. she something happened? Yeah. Uh, when when she went to, when she uh, basically like had that fallout when she fell out or whatever. Because I definitely remember yeah. remember that. Then it goes it goes as the movie or well, the show goes on to her having a miscarriage, and I'm like, maybe yeah. uh, and then that night caused this to happen. Yeah, and then and then you see her show up at the funeral. So he was like, okay, well, she's not well, dead. Even before she showed up, they mentioned when uh, her, when the brother and sister were together smoking, hiding out from the mom because they took the cigarettes from the mom. So, and she mentioned that she seen Tali. Yeah. At the funeral. And she left. Well, yeah, that she thought she left. But then... So... I mean, and, then, like, and then you find out that's the father. So you're okay. The father died. died. He had... He had um, Previously, um, oh, yeah, heart. he had had a heart attack. It was a mild heart attack, so it could be that he had a, a, a more severe heart attack mm-hmm. this time around. And then, at the same time, with this two-year flashback, her ex-husband, who they kind of... Would you say that they reconciled things Not before complete. he left? Not completely. I mean, they uh, had sex before they left, <laughs> but that could have been a goodbye. Sex, something, anything. True. Then he... Because he's supposed to be gone for two years anyway. Yeah, he but, gets in the well, accident. Well, we don't know for sure if he died or didn't Exactly. Well, you can know he's hurt because you can see the blood on Yeah, you can definitely tell he's hurt. And then, because that, it, you, it's, it looked like maybe oh. strap metal might have gotten to the neck, too. So, could be, but never know. You never know. He, he, he Is he dead? Yeah, it could be his funeral, too, at the end. You don't know. Could have had two funerals in this show. And True. And then, also... Why are they so, like, why aren't, like, like the one thing, right? They was friends through thick and thin. What happened to their friendship? Like, what caused them to, like, not even want to talk to each other or... Right after Christmas to the funeral. Yeah, so what, that, that, that time frame. What happened from there to this funeral? Back. I think it had something to do with work. 
Because remember, Tali was going to have her be her producer now. Okay. And Tali already quit her job to, I guess, go in on her own. Because let's just face it, her boss, what her, the new owner. The new owner was a creep. Beyond creep. He pedophile. Well, I'm not going to say pedophile, but sexual harasser. Sexual assault. Sexual predator, yes. Should have been removed a long, long time when ago. When he first tried to do back something. Back then, didn't have, even on the show now, didn't have, because let's face it, it was up to 2005, technically, because when the first, sh- when it first goes to present time, it's supposed to be 2003. 2003. Yep. And then go to Two years later. 2005, yep. Shoot, the phones they had then. The Blackberry. Yeah. I'm like, 2005, we was oh, we 15. Way back. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Shoot. Time out, time out. Gotta say something. When they when she was doing her uh, holiday special, I had a few motion, emotions on that. Okay. One, she pulled out the razor phone, talking about uh the phone with the camera. This ain't gonna be out for a while, but uh, you all have. I'm like, dang. Back when they first had cameras on phones, man, I remember having a razor. <sighs> Those razors moments. that they had were ugly, by the way. Oh man, they had it be dazzled. Terrible. <laughs> But then it also kind of had me a little mad. So I'm like, hey, you're just trying to take the same Oprah approach right there. Yeah. You get a phone. You get a phone. Everybody gets a phone under their chair. But then they also paid uh, respects to Oprah. Mm-hmm. Her down the line. But I'm like, hmm. Okay. I don't know how you felt about that scene either. Eh. Like, the one thing that really, like, really, like, hit home for me during this season or series so far is that like, you would think that friendship conquers all, but apparently <laughs> something happened. Honestly, that friendship should have ended when uh, Tali slept with uh, Johnny. Johnny back then, because uh, she knew. Oh yeah, she knew. She definitely knew. But I will say they both had rough lives growing up. Tali had it worse. Yes. But sheesh. First of all, Tali's mom. A.K. Cloud. She took hippie to her. She, she was a hippie. I know, but still, that ain't even your legal name. <laughs> hippie. Them two alone was horrible. But I got to get on Tali's mom for a moment here. Why did they make her look younger as she got older? They casted somebody to look younger as she got older. Because she didn't look... Tali looked it older than the mother, honestly, towards the end. Bad makeup on the mother. The hair, horrible. I mean, the hair probably was horrible because she's a hippie. No, I'm talking about when when it became present time. And she was working, supposedly got herself plants and all that. She didn't look old to me. She did? No. She, she didn't look old to me. She looked like she had a whole bunch of just. They gave her a whole bunch of freckles. She looked old to me. And that was it. Her hair was a little frail. Listen, she looked like she could have been in her 50s, 40s or 50s. You and Tali so? was in her 40s on the show. Yeah. So I'm like, the mom, if Tali was in her 40s, and the mom was supposed to be, in, I guess, in her 30s when Tali was young, the mom got to be like 70 or 80 at this point. Mm-hmm. Your math was wrong. I'm just, well, it should be like I'm a just, 15 age gap, at least yes. a 15, 16 yes, age gap. Yes, but I'm just, I'm just, Ballparking if the mom was okay. technically in her 30s. Could have been her 40s then. Okay. She could have been her 20s. Who knows? True. But I'm just saying, the mom looked at too young for the role. Because it looked one like the cast two different people to play the mom. Younger mom, older mom. And the older mom looked younger than the younger mom. Honestly. Those hairstyles, bro. The hairstyles in the 70s and the 80s and stuff like that were wild. But the whole scene for Tali's birthday when they went to the uh, restaurant, yo, boy would have got punched in his face. Because <laughs> I had a, I know he he did say something to her about free Oh, he probably did for sure. Uh, But, you know what? I don't mean to ruffle any feathers. I really don't. Mm-hmm. Sexual assault is real, man. Super oh, real, man. Of course, it's real, and it's it's it bothers me that 
the thought process of some people, even today, was, well, boys will be boys, or she was a tease. Like, like when he said that, yo, mm -hmm. it boiled my blood. Oh, don't be such a tease. But you knew, he knew he was wrong when he stopped afterwards and got up and was looking at her the way she would, and seeing how she was responding. Then tried to make it seem like it was all her fault. Like, uh, they should have let her kill him. Uh, she let him run that run that man over. Yeah, I just it, it, that stuff sickens me. It sickens me. Like not even like I said. Like it it bothers me to the point where like it's like yo, us men like do it's really men out here who think like that. I mean, it's women that think like that too. That's both. Yeah, both, it goes both, both ways. But it's like yo, it's bad. But see, the bigger problem is though the cover up because it, you see it kind of repeated itself with the. The uh, big shot the uh, producer, yeah, and you see how he tried. To, he even said nobody would believe her and all that good stuff. It goes, it goes deeper with the cover ups and all. Yeah, sad. It's, it's just sad, man. People are really out here like that. Yeah, I'm. I was a little surprised that they even touched on it, in this, but you never know. But as a whole, though, this show. Has a lot of dynamics. Yeah, I mean, I enjoyed it. It was. It has some funny parts. Oh yeah, and it has some emotional parts. I would definitely recommend it for sure. I liked it. I liked it. Yeah, I liked it too. But uh, man, what was up? None, none of the homes are happy homes on this movie. Well, the show at all. Yeah, First, sure. Tolly, no father, mother, kind of always messed up. Then friend, her parent, her mother sleeping around with other people behind the father's back. Father is kind of back and forth with her. Yeah, she stays with the father just out of guilt in a way. Mm -hmm. Then she wants to get the divorce herself from Johnny. And then, oh man, can we can we go there though, real quick? The Christmas uh, Eve or the holiday time interruption coming to the door, but oh. naked, but Bucky naked. Find out this man's so, mom is right next to So, her. can I ask you a funny question? Uh-huh. I know this is Hollywood, right? But I think any normal person would have used that peephole that she had right there. Oh, but she was excited. No. She knew it was him. No. No, but she knew it was him already. Still, I think the normal average person... Nah. Like, you you may know, okay, listen, it's such and such on the other side, right? But my whole thing is, okay... And again, this could, could be just where they live. Like, where we live... I'm if I'm no, a but you, I'm remember, looking at people. He, she knew that he was the only person coming over, and that he was already on his way. But he even admitted that his he didn't know his mom was going to come to right then and there. He should have sent her a warning she shot. She he didn't know that she was going to pop up naked though either. Still was but, the yo, warning. That was hilarious. I thought it was going to be the daughter next to her. That would have been even more wild. Yeah, I'd have been like, oh, dang. the mom. She is so awkward funnier, though. She is so awkward though. Well, I mean, she's forty something. Going back out there into the dating world, that's already really had some messes around with most people. She admitted. I think what she only had two people that she slept with prior to this man now. Yeah. And the mob note was hilarious. <laughs> no, I didn't see anything. Yes, I seen it. Oh, this is gonna be a great uh, story to tell, girls. I'm like, yeah, wow. She really put a raincoat on though. All things you can grab, you grab a raincoat. Look, she, she grabbed the first thing right there by. That was hilarious. But all in all, it, it's comical moments, serious moments, and touching moments. Netflix, don't do this to us, all right? We need a season two because there's so much le that was left out and open. Guess that's going to be up to uh, whoever's handling these contracts here. And and negotiations and all. Don't do me dirty. Please don't do me dirty. I have to wait and see. Did you guys uh, find this entertaining at all? Uh, what was your takeaway from the show? Let us know in the comments below. And until next time. Mm -hmm.